nothing blessed about Alex. There we go. It was just streaky. All right. Uh, we're about to start recording. So if anybody's actually listening to this right now, which they shouldn't be, then we'll be with you just a second. <laughs> All right. You guys ready? Yes. Ready. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Mignolaverse.com podcast for uh, November 15th, 2019. Had to think about that for a second. Um, how are you guys doing? I'm good. Wunderbar. And uh, I should probably actually set you guys up to introduce yourselves. Uh, you can nah. fight. Whoever goes first is the worst person. <laughs> Well, I guess then I'll do it this time because yeah. Gwen is too good, <laughs> and it is me, Alex, the worst person. There you go. And I'm Gwen. Hey. hey. Um. Yeah. Sorry, we uh we didn't have one last month. Uh, I guess just with Halloween and stuff, we just didn't get to it for some reason. It kind of kept pushing this one. Um. Yeah, last one month was kind of hectic to tell the truth. Oh my it god. Was nuts. Yeah. Yeah, I just, let's see, we came off Dragon Con, went into September, and then September turned into October, and now I sneezed, and it's Christmas. Oh, my God. I Well, because I work somewhere where they play, like, Christmas music and stuff, and they set that up, like, two days after Halloween. Oh, God. And before then, everybody was already talking about, like, I already got all my Christmas gifts. I'm like, what's wrong with you guys? It's not even Halloween yet. No. Halloween's my favorite day of the year. You don't step on my turf. No, we haven't even eaten the turkey. I don't think the turkey's even dead yet for Thanksgiving. Aww. I I can say that um my uh my mother uh with her boyfriend, they were sitting at their house um and his mother was visiting and uh, a turkey smashed into their window and killed itself. <laughs> Oh, oh my goodness. Yeah. He's like, I'd rather kill myself than let you bastards kill me. It just flew in and was just like, I'm dead now. Bye. <laughs> uh, they did not eat it, though. <laughs> they did not. That's a waste. Huh? They should have eaten it. They should have eaten it. it it's Free. a wild turkey. We... So? Those things are delicious. I know, but, like, we don't know. <laughs> we were not good cooks. <laughs> Okay, I could hardly cook grilled cheese, let alone make sure that there's no like cholera inside of a wild turkey. So long as cholera. No... I don't know. <laughs> oh man, Danny, what? what oh man, on? Alex, you. you ugh. What is going on with this? Oh, I'm sorry. This cholera in my turkey. What? What are you even talking about? Uh, <clears throat> I'm sorry I have my iPhone and don't need to make the turkeys out in the wild or whatever, like you old people. Yo, man, what do, what do you do with your iPhone? I don't know, cook a turkey? Yeah, exactly. How do you cook a turkey? With the radiation? Uh, I cook it by typing in the order I want, and it gets uh, delivered to my house. <laughs> my goodness. Like a boss. <laughs> like a boss. Yeah, to be perfectly fair, it's kind of hard to find a good cooked turkey. Oh, yeah, for sure. I mean, like, they, it's always overcooked around here. We haven't actually eaten one for Thanksgiving in a while. Oh, really? No, we do ham. I'm one of those people. I mean, ham's you know, amazing. So. I, I don't, it's, it's th I don't like ham. I tried yeah. getting, I had one of those, you know, my aunt had it, one of those honey-baked, big, giant, ham on the bone things and and I, I just couldn't get into it i did not well, like it to be perfectly fair it's ham off the farm that we made so that might be the difference mm -hmm. maybe yeah i mean every thanksgiving uh my uncle's like a professional chef so he makes like an extremely elaborate like <laughs> crazy good Spread. turkey yeah so it's always just great <laughs> um well, that that's a bonus. Yeah. Um, and I then just, I go over I there, and I'm like... Yeah. But, yeah. We actually haven't had a turkey in a while. Uh, Is Alex, like, dragging a dead body or something? What did I do? I, it I, sounds like you're dragging something around. <laughs> right now, it sounds like I'm dragging something? Still? Oh, is that the beard comb? No, that <laughs> might... Do you hear... Hold on. Is that what you hear? <laughs> 
I don't hear anything now. Yeah, I think it was your beard. It may have been my beard brushing against the <laughs> microphone. No, before we got on, Alex is like, today I got a new microphone and I got a beard comb in the mail. <laughs> and I could yeah, hear let's... the beard comb so loudly. Oh hey, Gwen, li- Gwen, listen here. See? Listen to that noise. That is a it? very loud yeah, beard comb. My God. Very loud. <laughs> that's because I have a magnificent beard and it needs a magnificent comb. You do have a magnificent beard. I'm not going to dock that. <laughs> Anyways, beard, the beard comb was not it. I don't know what that noise was. Oh, dear. I, I'm just assuming it was your microphone rubbing against your beard. That's yeah, probably what it is. Well, that was our surprise special guest, actually, Alex's beard. Everybody, give him a give him a clap. I'm putting a Yay. rubber band around it now so that I don't have to worry about it <laughs> scraping anymore. <laughs> Let me find my rubber bands. It can't steal your show. That's right. Don't steal my thunder. Well, in the past couple months, we've had, um, well, really the only releases we've had are Hellboy and the BPRD books. Uh, although just this week, we did have our account- Encounters with Evil release, but uh, we haven't yeah, all read that yet. So we're going to count or take care of that next thing, I think. Yeah. And that's technically not BPRD. That's just adjacent. The- I yeah. Mean, Mike Mignola was saying, like, on, f- on Facebook that the only thing he really did on it was worked on the cover for it. Yeah. So I don't know if he's just talking about the artwork or if he really didn't even write it that much. But I have no idea. So wait, it, but I thought that was his thing. Yeah, I thought it, it was too, but like that's what he was saying. I can actually pull up the tweet really quick. and So I think he might have just been talking about the artwork. Um. So maybe he helped write it, but he only did the cover for the artwork. Yeah, he kind of worded it weird. Hold on a minute. Mignola. No, that's us. I don't want to pull us up. I can't find it, of course, because there's a thousand tweets out now. <laughs> and retweets. Well, Gwen, I'll have to add that to the library so we can read it. Oh, yeah. Our Encounters with Evil, written and drawn by... Oh, written and drawn by the great Warwick Johnson Cadwell is apparently on sale today. It's a beauty, and I uh, wish I could take more credit for it, but I just did the cover. Hmm. So I only did the cover. Yeah. Oh, I did not know uh, Warwick Johnson Cadwell drew, or wrote this one. Weird. <laughs> well, we haven't really been on top of it this month. We've been kind of preoccupied with holidays. Yeah. I, I spent so much money on Halloween stuff. Um. I dressed up. Well, it, I did the costume for Halloween, but it was primarily for Rhode Island Comic Con. I dressed mm-hmm. up as a. Uh, if anybody listening to us has ever played Stardew Valley, the wizard from that, Rasmodius. <laughs> <laughs> With purple hair and I whatnot. I have not, but I know several of my friends have. Yes. Um, I uh, know nothing about what anyone's talking about. That's oh. all right. It's for the young people. Yes. <laughs> Younger than me. Yeah. Um, uh, but, uh, yeah, I know you guys kind of had very, like, kind of lackluster Halloweens. Well, my dad... I had no Halloween. My dad managed to blow out his hamstring, like, two days before Halloween. Oh, damn. (laughs) Yeah. So he had, like, a black bruised leg during the whole thing. So it was kind of, like, stress... Oh my gosh, it was on the leg he had had an operation on a while ago. He's always worried about infections and stuff. So it's, it was kind of like, I don't know. We hung around, we dressed up, we drank some dark and stormy, and we ate some food, and we watched a whole bunch of scary movies. The costumes you guys made were awesome. I saw those online, yeah. My parents (laughs) just threw theirs together. Yeah. And uh, mine was left over from Dragon Con. So was my twins. I mean, they still look great. <laughs> yeah, that Loki was quite spectacular. Yeah, that was the, the lady Loki. Mm-hmm. So that was, it was fun, but, you know, we didn't go out and do anything. Or, or Yeah. Yeah. And we did not get any trick-or-treaters. Uh, I know, Alex, you just kind of stayed at home. Yeah, I did absolutely nothing. I went to work and I came home and no one ever trick-or-treats in my apartment building, which is weird because when I was young, 
it's like the best place to go because you just walk in the building and you just go floor to floor, door to door, and you just clean up. And kids don't come into this building and do that, which is very strange to me. I, it's so I didn't buy even I didn't even buy candy this year. Damn. Wow. Did you get any trick or treaters, Danny? We actually got like a really solid amount, um, and it was weird because we were supposed to get a huge storm on that night. And we really didn't get it. It just was like a little windy and a little bit wet, but didn't even really rain. Yeah. Um. But our uh, we're at like the intersection of three streets, like dead smack in the center. So we got like everybody coming down those streets. But I know um when my friends who lives the street over, they said that like nobody even had their lights on, and there was like it was like dead. So it was really strange. I was hearing that from a lot of people. That's really wow. weird. Yeah. That's kind of sad. I get no trick or treaters out here. Mm. But yeah, seriously, if I got trick or treaters out here, it'd probably be little demons or something. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> well, actual witches and demons. Yeah. Children of the corn, literally. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, um, it, the weather was nice. I mean, we had a little bit of snow, I think. But other than that, it, it could have been worse. It wasn't pouring rain or anything. So I think the trick-or-treaters in town had a, a good trick-or-treating. <clears throat> I know uh, I know there's that big freeze that's been going on like oh out west more. Is that over by you oh, guys? or? Yes. All right. I just got out of it. It sucked. I hated it. <laughs> it's too early for winter. I want fall. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna whine about this loudly. I'm sorry, people. That's all right. <laughs> I, I, we just it's, it. It skipped right from August weather to uh, straight to November, and then it just went right over that to December. It's way too cold. Yeah, it's way too cold. I mean, it looks like we'll have a nice week, but oh my gosh, we were cold. We were down in the teens, and you know, I'm not ready for teens yet. I'm ready for like mid. 40s 50s for highs you know sweater weather yeah exactly not not jumpsuit weather yeah I, <laughs> I i walked out the other day and um it's right today is pretty all right but like the last two days were like i walked outside and thought i got bronchitis like immediately <laughs> i was like <clears throat> your lungs froze i turned my car on and uh my car made like a coughing noise and i was and i was like buddy i'm so sorry <laughs> Don't die on me. Please, buddy. <laughs> Which, yeah, it was really cold. Those damn Canadians need to keep that stuff bottled up a little longer. I know. <laughs> I know you guys don't want to deal with it, but we don't either. <laughs> I don't want to share. Um. Uh, but yeah, I, it stinks that we don't have a ton to talk about for Halloween stuff. Um, no, which you'd think Halloween would be perfect for Hellboy. And I didn't even see a lot of costumes on the group I run. They did, though, release a book that week that was uh, Long Night at Golosky Station. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Have you guys read that yet? No. Nope. Yeah. <laughs> I read it. I, that was a real good single issue. <laughs> yeah, it was cute. Yeah. It's definitely a cute single issue with uh, a little nice little folklore. Yeah, it, it, it didn't really, like, I guess it kind of like tied into Witchfinder a little bit, but other than mm -hmm. that, it was just kind of like a one-off thing. Um, I like. I notice I like a lot of their one-off or like three <clears throat> comic book arcs better than some of the overreaching ones sometimes because oh. they get pretty depressing. Yeah, yeah, they do. <laughs> the The single issue stuff is probably their best stuff. I'd say. I don't yeah. know. Well, I mean, I like it both. Well, they can go either super dark for a short period of time, so it doesn't really get you that badly, or they can make it a lot of fun in that short issue. When you go with the longer arcs, it tends to get very serious. Yeah, very serious, very fast. Some of the ones with Liz are really serious. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Which, maybe it's just my mood right now. I like the ones that delve into some of the folklore and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, That, which is why... um. They just announced what's the name of the the new one they just announced like yesterday, the one that's a sequel to Crooked Man. Oh, uh, Return of Effie Cole. Cobb. Eff yeah, Effie Cole. Yeah, I, there you go. I have to say it has been a long time since I read Crooked Man, so I honestly oh. don't even remember it that well. 
crooked man is just creepy. Yeah. I, I Richard actually Corbin's have... art. I'm not a big fan of that style of art, really. <gasps> it's so creepy. I love it. I, I like Richard There's Corbin's art, but... And... There's something about the eyes and the mouth that creep me out. <laughs> it, it's yeah. definitely doing its job. <laughs> yes, it is. I will give it that. <laughs> I'm gonna yeah, I think this. that's why I like it so much, is because it when when Richard Corbin comes in, it's usually a messed up, really creepy and gross story, and it's just that one with the bugs. <laughs> yeah. It's... The bugs and the black... What is it? The black cat bone? Mm -hmm, and, mm -hmm. and the bridal yeah that one well that's a, uh, an example of the one shot you know um one comic book story that i think works really well the bride of hell uh oh i'm, I'm talking about the uh uh the crooked man oh, oh yeah yeah because that was and now we get her back which is interesting because is that like when does that take place that we wouldn't have heard about anything like that yeah you know? i don't but you know he's got a he's been around a while, so they can they can really mine it for a lot of uh, for everything it's worth as far as characters coming and going. Right. I'm surprised. Um, for this new one, uh, I, I'm kind of sad we didn't get uh, Richard Corbin back on it. Um, yeah, that's uh, unfortunate. But we did get Zach Howard, so that's pretty cool. I I'm not yeah. like overly familiar with his work, but. Right, but you figure for continuity, you'd like to get the same artist back, but yeah, you know, can't be always easy all the time. Yeah, yeah. whatever. I have to look this one up and see if it looks similar or not. It There's doesn't. Couple... It, it does not. Okay, yeah. Nah, it's not. It's a completely different style. Um, so brought... they've brought in a couple of artists that a few times I've mistaken for uh, Magnolia's stuff. You yeah. know, on a closer inspection, it's like, oh, no, that's not his. But if you're, like, flipping through real quick, you think, oh, this is Magnolia. Yeah. That, a lot of that, ha like, a lot of people mistake, like, Stenbeck art sometimes. Yeah. Because they have very similar uses similar, of, like, darks. Yeah. When you look at them side by side, they're not really the same. Yeah, but, like, if you're just looking from a distance really quickly, you kind of, like, go, whoa. <laughs> um, Wait. You'll have to excuse me. I keep muting my microphone because I keep coughing. Oh, it's all right. <laughs> I did that twice already. I was like coughing. It's very dry in here. Yeah. Yeah, luckily it's not like that today. The past couple of days it was like that for me. But... Yeah, it's like really dry here. I think the indoor thermometer thing said we were like 27% humidity in the house. Ugh. So... Um, but, uh, we have two comic cons that we need yeah, to talk about. Yes, yeah, we yes, do. Yes. Uh, yes. We could talk about mine first. Cause it's not like super eventful. Um, mm -hmm. uh, so like, I, uh, we, I actually did a write up on it last year. Uh, this year I'm not going to do one cause I didn't go for the full three days this time, but, uh, Rhode Island comic con happened this year. My local con, I went on the Sunday, so. There wasn't like a ton of stuff happening. All the good panels are always on Saturday, but <laughs> I did get to go see George Takei, so that was pretty cool. That is awesome. Yeah, George Takei is awesome. Um, even like I, I don't know a whole lot of his stuff. Like I don't really watch a lot of Star Trek. Um, so like I, I just wanted to go see him because like you know it's George Takei. <laughs> That's always a good panel. Right. Um, and it was pretty cool. Uh. You know, you know, he talked about his new book. Um, what's the name of it, of it again? Um, they called us. They, um, I forget. They called us prisoners. They called us something like that. Um, I guess this Google is the, it. the Japanese prison camp. Yeah. Stories that he's telling. Yeah. They they called us enemy. There we go. They called us that was it. That makes sense. Um. So that was a really cool thing. Uh, he also talked about like Howard Stern and stuff like that. It was, and that guy could ramble for forever. <laughs> yeah, he's got um, a long life, long stories to tell. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, wasn't he just in uh, season two of The Terror? Was he? Oh, I didn't see The Terror. 
think he was. I haven't seen that one yet. Maybe. Sorry, I brought it in. <laughs> oh, it's all right. Uh, I mean, I, there's not a whole lot else other than that to talk about, really. Like, uh, you know, we, we just kind of walked around the pant or around the con. I was dressed up like that. Somebody, somebody pulled me over. And uh, if anybody's actually played that game, um, the character Rasmodius, he instead of a wizard hat, he has like a cowboy hat because <laughs> it takes place in like sort of like a small town. So everybody over there kind of has like a little bit of a Western vibe to them a little bit. But um. And uh, somebody pulled me over. Is like, can I get your picture? I was like, yeah, sure. And then they took my picture, and uh, they're like, yeah, there was just a bunch of Red Dead Redemption cosplayers yesterday. I was like, well, I hate to break this to you, but I'm a wizard. <laughs> oh, you go, Walt. And she That's was like, funny. oh, and walked away. She immediately deleted the picture. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, well, sorry. Disappointing. Oh, did you see any other? What good a disappointment you are. There was a, a lot of cosplay, su- um, surprisingly, of uh, the new She-Ra show. Like, a oh, lot yeah, of them. Yeah, that was a yeah, really big, big one. Um, uh, a f- a person I used to be friends with is a big-time She-Ra cosplayer. Yeah. Wow. Um, We got... What else was there? I, I surprisingly only saw one Deadpool, <laughs> which is shocking. You normally see way more than that. Oh, my gosh, yeah. I um, thought it was like required at every con you have to have 50 Deadpool. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um I saw a really good uh Buzz Lightyear one um <clears throat> that I wanted to run up to him and go, "Hey Mysterio." <laughs> oh. That'd been really funny. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure he would have thought it was really funny. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it was really, You know, they're either really cool with it or some of them can be kind of snooty, but Usually they're really cool unless they've heard the joke like 10 million times and then it gets old. Yeah, I don't, I don't think so. It was very obviously Buzz Lightyear, so it's not like I was yeah. really mistaking him. But um, There was another guy. I don't even know what he was cosplaying. He was just playing bagpipes, but at only one note. So I just went up to him and was like, I love this song, man, and danced with him a little bit. <laughs> um, <laughs> Maybe he was playing. Was he, was he big boy? Was he playing Fat Bastard from... Uh... No, Austin, he, Austin Powers. He was in like a a morph suit with like dots on it, so it was clearly a character from something that I didn't know. Um, <laughs> morph suit—that would be something that they paint over digitally, wouldn't it? Well, no, or you you know, I mean, like one of those like uh, it was like a Green Man suit, but white. <laughs> yeah. Um, with dots on it. Um. Well, that's a motion capture suit. Yeah, I I don't really know. Yeah, that's a motion capture suit. Yeah, I I, I don't know what the character is supposed to be, but that was weird. Yeah, no, that's what. Now I'm trying to figure out what digital character goes around playing a bagpipe with one note. If any of our listeners could enlighten us, we'd be really, really appreciative. Uh, bagpipe dots. Uh, that is not the character. All right. <laughs> um, I don't think was there any other costumes of no. Oh, there was somebody cosplaying. It was an old lady, and she was cosplaying as a uh, granny from uh, Looney Tunes with Sylvester and oh, Tweety. Nice. It was a perfect cosplay. It was so good. Like Aww. she had like she was walking around with like a cage with her, and it was so well done. I could not believe it. Um, but th- those are all the cosplays I can remember. Cosplay goals. Yeah. There was a Maleficent one that was really good, too, but that was, like, a super professional cosplayer. Yeah, it's yeah. like, I think Maleficent is the one you see the most of now. Yeah, now it's, cons. yeah. Yeah. With the big wings and the horns. Um, But that's all I really had for Rhode Island Comic Con. It wasn't a super eventful year this year. Oh, uh, Skeleton Key, or Skeleton Crew, rather, wasn't there. Uh, I was looking for them. I, I was sad. I feel like they only do um, a handful of cons. Like, I've never seen them at New York either. Yeah. They were there last year. Um, and I said hi to them. Uh, so uh, they, they're they up in Maine. So I, I guess it's kind of like, you know, a terrible drive. <laughs> no, it can't be that terrible, though. They do San Diego all the time. But I know that's a big that's a big money day for them. Yeah, it's a huge con. I was excited. I, th- those people are so nice. <laughs> I love them. 
It was, yeah, no, they're good people. They were like the sweetest people when I met them last year. So that's nice. But that's awesome. Uh, Alex, what about uh, uh, you had a uh, New York Comic Con. New York Comic Con. New um, York Comic Con. Well, for the <laughs> most part, I was working at the Sideshow booth. Oh, all right. So the, a roadie. Yeah, it was for the most part, I was there. And it was fun because, again, it, a lot of cosplayers show up there. And, oh, man, I wish I could show you pictures. I wish I could give you pictures to stream. I could post it and whatever. But um, there was this pair of cosplayers, one of them dressed up as a knight. Like, he was a knight, like, you know, Game of Thrones big suit knight. But it was Godzilla. His helmet, instead of like the hound, was a Godzilla helmet. And his shield was um, big and gold. And it had Ghidorah's heads, like all three of them, on oh, the shield. That's his, awesome. uh, the back of his armor was Godzilla's, you know, spine. And uh, it was really insane. And then he was with this woman who's dressed as Mothra. But Mothra, like, she would raise her arms and she would have the giant wings and her helmet. She had a helmet on with the Mothra head. It was spectacular. That um, sounds really cool. That's amazing. A bunch, of, a bunch of Borderlands cosplayers. So every time they walked by, I was like, you know, I don't know if anyone plays the Borderlands games, but the new one has the God Queen Tyrene. And I would be like, the God Queen Tyrene. And they would, we'd have all these psychos. You know, people dressed as psychos, like chanting back. It was fun. Uh, people dressed up as sideshow statues. Like, they used the statue as their point of reference, so they wanted to get a picture at the sideshow booth with it. Oh, nice. Oh, awesome. So that, yeah. And, uh, but I did a lot of stuff there, and it's leading to other things for me, so that's fun. But, uh, and then I spent a ton of money, as usual. I spent so much money. I mean, did you see any Hellboy cosplayers? Neither of you saw any Hellboy cosplayers, did you? I saw a Hellboy cosplayer. Uh, she does a lot of... Uh, I'm trying to think. She does a lot of... What, what do they call it when they do those photo sets? The lewd? She does a lot of lewd photo sets. A boy, uh, boyer? Boyer? Uh, boudoir. Boudoir photo set. They're, yeah, they're boudoir. Yeah. She does a lot of that stuff, but she came dressed as Hellboy, and uh, it was very, uh, very revealing. But she, I think it I've was... seen pictures of her online. Yeah, but it was pretty. She did a pretty great job, though, with the uh, the body paint and the the fifth, the uh, the right hand of doom, and mm -hmm. she had a whole. She did a really good job. Um, she gave me her card. I was like, oh, look at this, and then I was like, oh, wow. <laughs> how how much for the photo? No, I'm just kidding. But. <laughs> But yeah, it was, there was a couple of Hellboy related ones and uh, just so many good cosplays, so many good ones. And it stinks because there's this cosplayer, uh, Valkyrie Creative. I love her stuff. And she was there she, and she's from England. Uh -huh. And she she came out there and she was she was doing it and I didn't see her the whole week. And like I'd hit her up. We, we were chatting on Instagram and I was like, yeah, I'm going to, you know, let's, you know, try to meet up or whatever. But uh, never worked out. Mm. But, but she just won something. She just won a, an award at a uh, thought bubble. <laughs> I will have to Google that. Yeah, thought bubble. It's a English convention. But yeah, but yeah, New York Comic Con. I don't know. I did a bunch of stuff, and I was very tired. And my back went out once oh, because no. I'm a genius. And I said, you know what I'm going to do? Since I'm skinnier now and I lost all this weight, I'm going to wear my skinny jeans and my doc martens because i want to i want to you know be fashionable and <laughs> it was a terrible idea because after the third day uh my back was in so much pain and i was wearing sneakers that day i had sat down at one point and i got up and my spine was like my back was like tweaking i was like okay 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 and i stood <laughs> i stood perfectly still for like 10 seconds and i'm like all right cool I took three steps and my back was like, nope. And I collapsed. Like oh, man. My back, my back was like, no, you're not standing anymore. And I collapsed. <laughs> I was able to like slow the collapse and like actually sit down, but in, you know, slow motion. But my back was like, nope. Goodbye. Goodbye. Oh, no. No. <laughs> embarrassing. Oh, 
man, there's this really great cosplay that I, I got to send you guys pictures of. It was a guy dressed as every video game thing ever. And like, he made a, like a transformer suit out of every video, like his fists were the guitar hero hand, hand controllers from, uh, <laughs> from like the 3ds when they had like, what? the Oh, guitar- yeah, so that was his like knuckles, like his brass knuckles, and like his head was an old school Nintendo. His chest was like a Genesis, and he's got like Sega CDs and Dreamcasts to make up his armor. It was so clever. That's I really appreciate awesome. stuff like that. I'm sure the power glove was in there somewhere. <laughs> I'm sure, but I, you know, there was so much to try to pay attention to. Yeah, nice. And the only the only costume I ever saw that like didn't even beat it, but like was equal to it as far as like innovation of bringing so much stuff together i saw a person dressed as every johnny depp character (laughs) in one costume in one costume yeah like not every single one but like almost all of them so he was jack sparrow he was tonto he was uh uh hunter thompson uh, hunter thompson benny and june like he was everything i was like yeah, that's another one I got to find that picture. It was spectacular. I was like, I, I can't believe the, the thought that people put into costumes when they do like amalgamations and crossovers. And by the way, I, I didn't wear my costume. No. <sighs> I was so busy working the booth that I didn't that I didn't want to deal with it. You know, what a dork. Fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah, it was absurd. Dork. Can't even believe but, it. Yeah. We have to get Alex to wear his costume someday. Yeah. They're I have they are complete. They are both complete and they are in my closet. And I could wear them whenever I want, but I just haven't worn them. I didn't wear them on Halloween. I didn't wear them on anything. Hmm. We challenge you at the next con. You must wear them even if it's for one hour. I'm not bringing it. I'm going to a con in uh, next Wednesday and I'm not uh I'm not flying out with that. I can't do it. <laughs> Yeah, otherwise I'm going to dock your non-existent pay. That's right. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> downers. It's okay. We we gained like 20 subs without even uploading anything. So. See? <laughs> We're like famous Jesus. now. Um, Yay. So uh, what books have you guys gotten uh, to read recently, by the way? <laughs> um. I haven't read any books, but I have been working on watching Good Omens. <laughs> so I'm finally catching up oh. with something that came out this year. Fantastic. <laughs> I'm really happy that you're watching that because it's such a beautiful story and such a great show. I love that it's show. It's really cute so far. Uh, it's really, really cute. Yeah. I pretty much just love anything with David Tennant in it, to be fair, though. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but I love that show to death. It was really good. good. My My friend Cody... My friend Cody, she dressed up as a Xerophel. There are and so she, many of those at Dragon Con. I actually this saw a year ton of those. Was you saw none? I saw a ton of them, I should say. Oh, okay. Yeah, that was a big that was a big um cosplay. And especially in like queer culture, it, it was like very important. And so she was a Xerophel and like the whole time I was trying to find her her perfect uh, uh crowley i was like oh, i'm gonna i'm gonna set her up on a on a date with with a with one of these crowley girls and i, <laughs> and I could not i couldn't get them together <laughs> you know what I, mean? I was taking pictures i was like yeah. i was like i found one i found one we need to come on we need to find it you know uh, <laughs> that would have been yeah. amazing <laughs> yeah yeah there's a lot of the gender bent crowleys in the zero fells yeah yeah i saw a ton of those um oh which doesn't shock me because that show was like crazy huge this year yeah i'm up to episode two yeah two or three i won't spoil anything then yeah i can't remember i've actually avoided spoilers i have no idea how i'm assuming it's because it happened while i was doing dragon con prep so i just ignored everything beforehand yeah well i haven't seen a ton of people discussing the actual plot of the show i've just been hearing people say like it's such a good show. I think people have been so freaked out about how good of a show it is. They forgot to talk about the spoilers online, which That's is a good true. thing. <laughs> yeah. Because yeah, I, I know nothing other than the basics, you know. Well, there's also not because it's a one season long show. There's not like you don't have to go online and like conspiracy theory about what's going to happen next season. So there's not really a whole lot of reason to talk about it. Yeah. Yeah. But I really, really it, hope. It was- 
book. But they don't, yeah. You know, it's a book, so it seemed like they'd be posting. It wasn't like the book. Oh, there there was people talking about that stuff, yeah. But I miss that. I just, I just, I just hope that, that, that Amazon doesn't say, you know what, we want more money. Let's, like, force a sequel out. Yeah, I think I saw that's, Neil That's what Disney would do. They wanted to write a sequel, but he died before that happened. But who? Yeah. Uh, Pat Pratchett. Terry Pratchett died before him and Neil could finish a sequel. Oh, right. But I don't know if that's. If just... it was Disney, they would they would just do it, you know. Yeah, yeah it's real. Oh my God! Don't even. Everybody yeah. on the planet's been talking about Disney Plus, and it's killing me. Yeah. <laughs> Here's the thing: I turned on Twitter, and every I'm not even exaggerating right here. I shit you not. Every single tweet in my feed for like the first thirty tweets was all Disney Plus. <laughs> I I moderate the sideshow group, and. It's been unbearable. Oh my there's, gosh. There's two posts and it just keeps going on. And it's it's Disney Plus or just the Mandalorian. Or Disney Plus or the Mandalorian. Yeah, Disney Lord. Plus the Mandal and it's insane. Yeah. And um by the I'm way, I watched the Mandalorian, it's pretty good. Um but yeah, it's insane how much they don't shut up about it. Uh I'm uh well because like if you have Hulu you just get it for like a dollar extra and my buddy wanted to get it for the Mandalorian. So uh, we split the same Hulu. So uh, we just upgraded. So like, it's like an extra 50 cents for me. Um, and I hate myself for doing that, but I was looking through it and everything on it. You, you always just forget that 90% of what Disney's ever made is just so bad. <laughs> I know. It's is what so everything bad. Disney's made is just like, well, like there's like the gummy bears. <laughs> there's like all the, like the terrible '90s movies they made. Can we talk about the gummy bears real quick? The gummy bear, yeah, absolutely. The, the gummy bears. Gummybearsverse dot com. <laughs> okay, the the gummy bears is a show that says we can't solve all, solve our problems. Let's let's turn to this bottle of magic liquid to get to to <laughs> to overcome our problems. That is a show. Telling kids to become raging alcoholics. It doesn't shock me because I'm pretty certain a lot of parents turned into raging alcoholics from that show. Yeah, it's <laughs> it is an absurd premise, but they put out a lot of junk in the 80s and 90s. They put out some terrible movies, which is why I like Don Bluth for spinning off. He quit Disney and made those awesome movies like An American Tale and Secret of Nim. Oh yeah, and and all dogs go to heaven. Like all these oh, great. All dogs go to heaven. If that huge tear jerker in this house. Yeah, no, it's it's a that's the thing. Don Bluth made these amazingly emotional, dark movies for kids, and it was like the best. And that's that was like Disney's dark ages, you know. Yeah, Disney. Disney went through a dark ages, and now they own everything. Yeah, which makes me sick to my stomach. Yeah. every day oh man i argue with people like you know and i try not to or I'm, I'm a moderator i'm not supposed to argue with people but it's people like i just want disney to buy Fo uh sony i want disney to buy sony so they can get spider-man i'm like wait so you want to increase the power of a multimedia conglomerate just because of spider-man yeah like, what is wrong with you no it's wait disney doesn't own dark horse does it no no not yet but they not yet. okay good <laughs> They, don't speak it to life. Don't speak it to life. They have bought they've bought two huge properties that they used to belong to Dark Horse. A Star Wars. So Star Wars comics, Dark Horse had to let go of all of them. I think we talked about this how Dark yeah, Horse remember that. Put, put them all on sale, like right before right before they had to give it up. They put it on this huge, huge sale so people would all own it before, you know, Marvel got their hands on it. And yeah. then um they just did that with Conan the Barbarian. Now Disney owns Conan the Barbarian, so now they took that away from Dark Horse, which I used to have all those Dark Horse Conan the Barbarians, and I'm really pissed about it because now Conan the Barbarian is part of the Marvel Universe, and he hangs out with Wolverine. What are you talking about? Get out of here. That's <laughs> terrible. It is. That's it's weird. awful. That's weird. Yeah. 
I hate I hate those kind of crossovers. They did that with Red Sonia and Spider Man. Like when even though Red Sonia is still dynamite, they did like a crossover. I'm like, it make stop it, just stop. But they don't belong together. Archie belongs yeah. with every character though. Yeah, Archie's fine. <laughs> Archie, Archie, and any horror movie antagonist. Yeah. <laughs> Very weird. Archie and Jason Voorhees. Archie and it, I, I don't understand what's going on with the art. They're trying to make themselves relevant. The kids. I don't know. Uh, it's amazing, is what it is. How dare I don't you? Know. <laughs> I haven't. I haven't read it. I it's used stupid. to read Archie digests all the time, but you know, I haven't read any of them either. I just like that they exist. <laughs> yeah. No, it's funny, but it's like it's like Pride and Prejudice and Zombies or Abraham Lincoln Vampire Hunter. Right? Yeah. Yeah. They didn't need to actually write a book. They should have just put out a poster, Pride and Prejudice and Zombies, and everyone would be like, ha, oh, that's funny. But no, they had to make a book, then they made a movie. And by the way, have either of you seen Abraham Lincoln Vampire Hunter? I have not. Nope. I did one of those uh, pay to get out all night, you know, 12 hour horror marathons. And yeah. that was the fifth movie. And I was like, I'm going to make it to the end. That was the fifth movie. It was so bad that I was offended by how bad it was. And I've left. I was like, I was one of those people that I was like, no, not happening. All right. It was so bad. But the thing is, when it comes to horror, if you're going to be doing a whole 12 hour marathon of horror, you got to you got to be prepared, man. There, there's some real bad horror movies out there. <laughs> no, dude. I mean, I saw Houseu, which is this insanely bad movie but i loved it because it was terrible and that made me laugh and i've seen some eh, movies and i sat through and i got to the next one this movie was so bad i it ruined my night oh. like the premise of the movie is that the north and the south are fighting because the south has slaves because they're vampires and they want food i have not seen it so i don't know yeah I that seen is it. That is the premise of why the South has slaves because they want food. That is so offensive to me. And I don't get offended by things like that usually. But to me, this movie was so bad. If it was done well, maybe I wouldn't be offended. But this was so bad. Like Harriet Tubman was like, yeah, I'm a vampire hunter too. I'm like, oh my God, this is terrible. Abraham Lincoln's like, I got this ax and I could chop down trees. What? So stupid. I'm so, how do we get to this? I don't know. Anyways, I don't know. Yeah. Mignolaverse.com oh, oh. podcast. <laughs> oh, it's because we were talking about Archie and Predator. Like, yeah, right. the idea is funny. I don't want to read it. Just I got like it to so it. off topic. Yeah, we well, it's your fault. Fr quite frequently. That's all right. Yeah. So, if if yeah, you listen anyway. to this, you're going to know what you're getting into. Yeah. yeah. We don't stay on topic for very long. No, that's so, fine. So about the robots that are coming. No, I don't know. Well, uh, so here's the thing about Cowboys versus Aliens. Oh, my like, God. <laughs> Um, but, uh, yeah, I don't even know what the original topic was. <laughs> oh, we were just, we were just I, talking about comics, I think. Um, yeah, we were talking about Dark Horse. Was Dark Horse bought by Disney yet is what I was asking. All right. No, thank God it hasn't been. No. They, they do still have that Netflix deal. Um. Yeah, I'm curious about that. I haven't heard anything since that was announced. Yeah, I don't. They had Briggs County that was supposed to be made into a TV show, and then that can't comic got canceled. So I guess the show might have got canceled too. I have a feeling they were thinking about doing a BPRD thing, and then the movie happened, and then it didn't happen. Yeah, yeah. but that would be so perfect. It would be. But it would be. They have so many good properties that they can work with, though. Yeah, they have plenty for Dark Horse to. I know, but the thing is, it is so encompassing. They have years and years and years and storylines, and they can do offshoot, you know, TV shows. You can follow Liv, Liz on one TV show. You can follow Abe. I know, I know. You know. There's so much to work with. I mean, it's basically like Supernatural, X Files, and uh, Game of Thrones all wrapped up in one big package. Yeah, uh, I don't know. I I hope they they do it, but. I think it's we're going to have to wait time. a couple of years. Yeah. Yeah, I, I guess the question is, are they going to do it when they do another movie, or are they just going to go straight for a TV show? It's 
it's weird because like how do you do a bprd tv show without doing a hellboy thing right right so but hellboy i don't think is a very good netflix idea just netflix or hellboy on his own i don't know like I don't know. Like, I think BPRD <laughs> makes way more sense, but then how, again, how do you start off a BPRD thing without Hellboy? Yeah, right. Well, maybe BPRD could be, like, the main TV show, and then Hellboy could be, like, six episodes per season, offshoots, you know, like, the the one-offs or how he ties in and stuff, and then build it back in. They could do a Hellboy in the BPRD thing, too, like, on the side. Yeah. But, I don't I mean, know. I think, just... I think they'd be fine doing it on their own. They could start with Witchfinder. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I, I don't think that they would do that because I don't think anybody knows what that is. So then it doesn't have the taint of Hellboy that's going through right now. Of, that's... Man, the last movie didn't do as good. That's a very good point. Up. Yeah, It's still Hellboy. He fits very, very prominently in the universe. You just build up to it, and by the time you get there, everyone forgets because they're so excited. Oh, man. I, <laughs> I would love that so much. Sorry. Oh, it's all right. Uh, just th making me think of dreams. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't know. We, we could also, I mean... I, I mean, they're doing Sabrina the Teenage Witch, you know? Yeah. I'm trying to think of that. I'm sorry. <laughs> that's kind of popular right now, and it's both goofy or whatever. So, well, that's the thing. I definitely think it would be mad popular. Yeah, but I, I don't think, think they're ready to do it. Like, I think they're nervous about it now. Ever since the last movie bombed. Yeah. Which that's because they had too many hands in the cookie jar. Yeah, yeah they definitely did. Well, I think they could do Grendel. While they wait, I haven't read no. that. But I, need to... mm. I would even love a Conan the Barbarian TV series, but now Disney has that, which pisses me off. Yeah, I don't quite see how Disney's going to do that. I, if we're talking about Dark Horse properties for Netflix, yeah. uh oh. Uh -oh. Come on, what do you got, Danny? Hmm. 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 I, I wonder what you're going to say. Hmm. I wonder what I'm going to say, too. I mean, like, I'm just trying to think of off the top of my head. We got, like, well, the goons are getting a movie. We know that now. That's um, indie, though, right? Uh, no, it's technically a Disney movie. <laughs> is it really? Yeah, well, because it's a Fox movie. Fox Studios is making it, which means that oh. it's Disney. Was that I thought they were going indie with that. Yeah, was that announced before the merger? No, it was announced just before the merger was finalized. <clears throat> um, I, I don't understand, Danny. You, you know the answer you want to say. I don't know what the answer I want to say. I was just trying to lead into a thought, and then the thought never came to my brain. We could do, like, oh, Beasts of Burden or something, but that would be oh really difficult. God. Gwen, do you ever hear of the... There was this really great comic that I don't know if Danny remembers that he was obsessed with called Black Hammer. Oh my God! Yeah. Uh, well, to, uh, that's uh, all you would talk about for a bit. I mean, Black Hammer already has a TV show coming and a movie. Does it? Yeah. Uh, all uh, all of the Black Hammer universe got bought out by Sci-Fi, um, and they announced they're doing a shared universe between TV shows and movies for it. Oh well, thanks for telling us. Yeah, that's, that was announced forever ago. How forever ago are we talking? <laughs> like, I'm just, like early this year. <laughs> I'm How just early? watching Good Omens, man. Yeah, uh, I don't think I'm Hammer things. TV show. Danny, it's Let's your see. job. It's na, na, your na, job na. to keep us, a, to uh, keep us in the loop. Legendary developing Black Hammer comic series, TV and film. This is legendary. November thirteenth, twenty eighteen. <laughs> Legendary was the original Hellboy uh, studio, wasn't it? Or was yeah. that the second one? Um, I don't know. No, it was the original I, one, I think. It was the original. Oh, that's weird. Here's the war generator. Executive producers, Dean Ormston. Oh, that's uh, cool. Dean Ormston. Uh, Lemire 
executive producer, blah, 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 Oregon, blah, 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 nominated Eisner, blah, blah, blah. Uh, description of what Black Hammer is, not saying anything <laughs> I particularly know. Legendary launched his brand in 2005 with Batman Begins versus three Christopher Nolan films set in Gotham City. Don't know why that's relevant. Um, <laughs> and Jeff Lemire is supposed to still have a movie for After Death 2, and I don't know when that's happening. That's never happening, but I would like it to happen. Oh, Sony's doing that. All right. Oh, Harrow County's getting made, right? Uh, I don't think they announced a Harrow County. Everybody wants a Harrow County TV show, yeah, but they never announced like it. It's so right for it because it kind of screams of Stranger Things and Sabrina the Witch all mixed in one. That would be a perfect Netflix show. Like yeah, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I would. Uh, I would watch Osagi Ojimbo. Oh, even though, I mean, like Usagi Ojimbo can just show up on like any channel. <laughs> yeah. Like, we already got Space Usagi. Well, <laughs> I, would, I would like... Uh, actual Usagi Ojimbo. Well, I would thing, like actual Usagi Ojimbo. They've got lots of, when I say, like, eight or nine comic book stories to mine, too, that could be, like, good omens for Netflix, where you don't have a whole back... You can do one season, you know, a binge-watch amount, and not be dedicated to doing a second season if it bombs. Yeah. To, to, on the Dark Horse catalog. For Dark Horse? I mean, like... Ghost. Uh, Colder. I keep coming back to that. That's Dark Horse. The Mr. Higgins Cold. books. <laughs> yeah. The Mr. Higgins books, yeah. Yeah, those are very short. They could do yeah. Baltimore. Baltimore would be sick. Baltimore would be out of control. But yeah. I think Baltimore would be better as animated. I don't know if they, live action seems very ambitious and looks feels like a lot can go wrong. I mean, they there was initially going to be a Baltimore movie, but then it got canceled. Yeah, it just seems like after Hellboy uh, uh, bombing, like I feel like anything that 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 is that ambitious as far as what they're going to need to spend on practical and and CGI effects, I think they're going to pull all their money into that and just make bad scripts. Yeah. Maybe. I, that's what I worry about. That's what I worry about all the time. You need to go back. Even if you have arguments with the first Hellboy movie, you have to admit the practical effects save those movies. The set design save those movies. They are delicious to look at. Okay? Right. Right. Work with what works. That's work for since cinema's been on film. Yep. Stick with it and pay the script writers. That's right. And that's, I mean, to go way off topic, that was the, so, so Star Wars comes out. The whole world is like, yeah, yeah, Star Wars, Star Wars, Star Wars. So what does Star Trek do? They're like, all right, this is how we're going to make our comeback. Now everyone's into this. So they spent so much money on that first Star Trek movie, the motion mm -hmm. picture. And it was terrible. It was terrible. Their budget got cut in literal half. And the second Star Trek movie was amazing. <laughs> See, because they spent all the money on the story, they didn't worry too much about how they're going to do the special effects. They didn't have a 20 minute scene of them looking at the outside of the spaceship, which is, by the way, a real scene. The thing is actually five minutes long where they just fly around the ship just to be like, oh, we have special effects. And that's what the, yeah. the Hellboy needed. They needed to ignore, they needed to ignore, like, oh, we need to make it look cool, or whatever. And we're talking about the movie once again. And yes. they needed to just focus on the script. And they need to do that with whatever they do next. Yeah, I, I hope. I Yeah, that's why a BPRD show would be good, too. Because it, like, you, with a TV show, you can take the time to kind of do that. You know, you can allow yourself to kind of do that, like, oh, look at all the world <laughs> kind of stuff. Um, because then right. you have the yeah. rest of the show to <laughs> deal with it. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Well, it's like uh, the first Silent Hill. That was the special effects in that were great. The second Silent Hill, they obviously tried to spend all the money just on special effects and no script writer, and it sucked. It's like it the sucked. Matrix movies. I haven't actually seen that, yeah. so <laughs> I, I'm a monster. Hey, the, the... Silent Hill or Matrix? Silent Hill. Oh. Oh, okay. 
I've I've seen the Matrix one. I, I haven't seen the other ones. <laughs> well, Danny, that's a perfect example of not understanding what made the movie great is because you have the Matrix one, and then two and three are like, oh, let's make more special effects and fighting and 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 cool ninja effects. Like now, you missed the point. Yeah, two you and three could find one movie, and it still would have worked. You know. Yeah. No, nah, it wouldn't have worked. The movies are terrible. <laughs> No, I'm just saying, as far as your what you got out of them, it still would have worked. If yeah, you could take out all the flair and just combine them into yeah. one movie to make it better. Yeah. And then it would have gotten over with quicker. <laughs> God, that movie. Ugh. I need to watch them again just so I could remind myself that they're terrible. Um, How about Prometheus? I, I really like Prometheus. Prometheus. I can't stand it. Really? It, the dumb snake thing. I mean, these guys are so dumb, and they're supposed to be scientists. Yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> I cannot stand that movie. Oh, I yeah, I like that movie a lot, but but <laughs> I, that's that's I'm a love it or hate it movie. That that is a very polarizing movie. It is like I can't believe because I hadn't seen it till like last year, uh, or whenever. Wait, did Alien Covenant come out two years ago? Yeah. Oh, that was yeah. Never mind. Two years ago then. Um, and uh. Yeah, I I watched it before I went to go see that, and I didn't realize how much people were divided on that movie. And some of my friends were like, "Oh, that god, that piece of trash movie." And then my other friends were like, "But it's so good. It's like one of the best Alien movies." I was like, "Whoa!" <laughs> yeah, it's it's a polarizing movie, and like I don't. It's funny because when you know, because Ridley Scott said it was it was Alien adjacent, that it was in the Alien universe, but it wasn't Alien. And yeah, but that's what I tried to do when I watch it was completely separated. Yeah. And, and that's what you need to do because it's, because basically if it seems to me that all he wanted to do was make a movie about artificial intelligence, but Fox wouldn't give him the money unless he made it about aliens. So he's like, fine, I'll make it about alien. That's what it seems like, especially covenant covenant was the whole other problem. <laughs> Does that mean it's good or bad? I have mixed feelings on it. Some days I'm like, oh, I like Covenant. Some days I'm like, what What did they do? For me, it was just such a slog to get, sit through. I didn't like any of the characters. So many of the, the decisions were so weird to me. You know, it's like she's running around 15 minutes after having that thing cut out of her stomach. Somebody punches her stomach and she's only got staples in it. The guy grabs the vagina snake thing. It's like, how stupid are these supposed scientists? Yeah, I, I, I it's been... alien. Yeah, the first alien I could accept that because there's truckers in space, and you no, know, they're dumb already. Right. <laughs> yeah, these guys but are like this... actual scientists. <laughs> well, that's the thing. I feel like, I feel like uh, some of them were archaeologists, some of them were grunt workers, and some of them were biologists. And the biologists, it's embarrassing. Yeah, that, that they would get killed so quickly by them. Like an archaeologist, I could say, okay, they get killed by something because they're not biologists. You're telling me that archaeologists now don't have to like watch out where they step because there's poisonous snakes? Oh, no, no, they do. But they were opening this thing up thinking, oh, we're going to just see the origins of mankind. They weren't opening this thing up saying like, oh, look, we have these oozing cans of biological warfare. Uh, you know, I don't think yeah. they knew what they were walking into. The biologists who walked in and saw all these animals walking around should have been like, huh, let's be a little more careful. Yeah. And taking your helmets off. Yeah. The, the helmets off is, but uh, you know, the rolly spaceship, the Rolly's, which one, the rolly spaceship. Oh my God. <laughs> Just run to the left or the right. Yeah. That's yeah. Really Seriously. insane. That, that was insane. That was dumb. <laughs> So for me, I just couldn't get past those, even with the visuals. Yeah. So I I actually haven't watched it since I saw it in theater. I've tried to a couple of times, but it's like, I got, no, I can't do this. <laughs> yeah, like I said, I only watched it the one time, so it, it's not very fresh in my brain. I, I remember liking it. Uh, I didn't think it was, like, amazing or anything. <laughs> It's visually beautiful, but I just felt like the story was not there at all. Yeah. Which, anyway, 
How do we get on this subject again? I don't know. Aliens who Dark cares? Horse, so who cares? <laughs> yeah, we're, care. we're talking Dark Horse. Hellboy should cross over with Alien, is what the, think, the point was, yeah. yeah. That seems like something they do. No, it's got to be Hellboy and Gremlins. I'm still convinced that that would be the best crossover. Gremlins 1 or Gremlins 2? Grem well, Gremlins 2, being a terrible movie, is also a lot of fun. Yeah. Aside from the fact that it's a, it's a terrible movie, but it's well, so yeah. much fun. Like Ghostbusters I, 2 is a terrible movie, but I still love it. Same here. Hellboy x Ghostbusters. Right? <laughs> Let's name everything Hellboy should cross over with right now. What is the best thing Hellboy needs to cross over with that he hasn't crossed over with? Um, Ghostbusters. I'm all about the Gremlins. I, I think that they would be a perfect, like he would know how to kill them. He would have all his little tricks and they are little monsters, little They're mythological like creatures. Perfect. I mean, it seems like he'd be primed to cross over with X-Files. Yeah, absolutely for the X-Files. Um, oh. X Files, Supernatural, Fringe. Well, the Fringe is very sciency, so maybe not so much Fringe. That might be more BPR. I have to say, t tying it into the actual thing, <laughs> um, what what is it? Hellboy and the BPRD. Uh, what's the most recent one? Not Saturn Returns. Saturn Returns. That really felt like, uh, Hellboy X Files. <laughs> like it really did. Oh. Yeah, Gwen, you got to read it. I mean, uh... I've got my laptop set up by my bed, and I keep telling myself, I'm going to read something tonight. And then I get up, and it's like, I'm going to bed. It's so, so difficult to keep yourself so on track. It's so pathetic. I, I'm only caught up with Hellboy and, like, two other ongoing books right now, so I, I get your pain. <laughs> yeah, I'm caught I don't up. read yeah. anything anymore. Uh, I... I'm... Oh. Sorry. <laughs> I'm... I'm caught up with nothing, so. I'm Maybe only caught up with um, uh, Second Coming, Hellboy. Not even Hellboy, really, because I didn't read the last issue of Saturn Returns. And uh, what's the last book I usually read? Oh, um, uh, na -na 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 Manor Black. Oh, how is Manor Black? I haven't started it. Amazing! <laughs> I love it. Is that Dark Horse? Yeah, that's um, okay. that's Tyler that Crook, our boy. How about that for Netflix? Uh, that would be awesome, and I'm pretty certain it's in the Harrow County universe too, although it's not confirmed. Well, I mean, sometimes I leave those open. Well, they said that they wanted to turn Harrow County into an expanded universe, and this is literally like the same creative talent and everything. With similar oh, yeah. themes. It feels like Harrow County, just in a different time period. So, that sounds plausible, then. Yeah, I'm pretty certain it is. Although, like, again, they haven't confirmed it. Harrow County's actually coming back a little bit, too. I'm gonna go read that. Yeah, I heard that was happening. Yeah, Tales from Harrow Counties. It's gonna be awesome. I'm happy. I like it. I like Harrow County. Yay, there's something to cover the Hellboy void. I like my haints. I hate. I hate all about it. Hate, hate, hater's gonna hate. And that's the end of the podcast. Can I? Oh, uh, my bad uh, joke. My bad jokes ruin the podcast. Bad joke, yeah. more like dad joke. <laughs> <laughs> You've been waiting to do that. I, I really have been. <laughs> but yeah um, it seems like there's a lot that they can mine for the BPRD before or not BPRD sorry Netflix before they get to BPRD yeah that, I would love to see I mean I don't think we would ever get them it's kind of a pie in the sky thing but I think like a Lobster Johnson series would be really cool um, that would be really weird it would, it would be cool though <laughs> be so strange right um i mean frankly if they are going to do something it would probably be hellboy in the bprd like yeah um because that kind of has like the bprd sort of flow to it but it has hellboy in it it's a bit more marketable even though it isn't actual bprd but no you know it's there's still a huge fandom for hellboy don't get me wrong it's just 
everyone's been off put by the newest Hellboy. So I I think just give it a year or two and they might try something. Yeah. But like even then like after a year or two, then they got to like make it and that'll take like an extra year or two. So it'll probably be a while. Um I mean, if they did do Hellboy in the BPRD, that is the most like the GDT films. Yeah. Because it's like a film, of, or it's about Hellboy, Professor Broom, and um, so I think like that would be the most recognizable to fans who have just watched the GDT films and hate the new ones, <laughs> or new one, I should say. Yeah, new one. Yeah, which yeah. I don't even. That makes me so sad saying that. <laughs> yeah, because they were setting it up. Koshay. <laughs> Anyway, we won't beat that dead horse. Yeah, I know. People have talked about that enough. Um, yeah. But uh, I don't know. What else? What else has been going on? We had the... We're going to try and set up the rereading or the new reading of the our encounters with evil. Yeah, we're going to try to do a read-through as a group of our encounters with evil. We just have to figure out when we're going to do that. <clears throat> you tell me. Um... Uh, I will tell you uh, what you want, what you really, really want. <laughs> um, oh, my goodness. And that is going to be, I don't know. I, I don't know. I was trying to think of a joke, and my brain farted, so I just kind of <laughs> kept saying words. <laughs> <laughs> that seems to be the theme this month. I mean, I don't know about you guys. I've already reiterated. Oh, God, I can't even get words out. This is embarrassing. That's all right. <laughs> It's been exhausting the last few months. I feel like I'm just revving up for Halloween. Yeah, I like I'm just recovering financially from spending so much money from Halloween that like I don't know. <laughs> I I keep getting home every day from work. I've been so tired. I just keep falling asleep when I get home. Same here. I tell myself I'm gonna read comics. I'm gonna watch. Actually, I'm going to confess the only reason I'm watching Good Omens right now is a friend of mine prodded me into it. And he's like, okay, I'm going to get online once a week, and I'm sticking it on, and you're sticking it on, and if you're not watching it with me, I'm spoiling it. So it's like, okay, we're watching it. We're watching it. <laughs> That's a good way to get somebody to watch something. <laughs> well, I don't want it spoiled, so. But yeah, it's 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 been rough. I forced my friends to watch the first few episodes of uh, um, Over the Garden Wall. That was nice. I don't know what to watch. Over the Garden Wall. <laughs> what is that on? Uh, you can watch it on Netflix or or Hulu rather. It's a uh, it's a mini series. Yeah. Every episode's ten minutes long, and it's only like ten episodes long. So. I don't have Hulu. <sighs> you can probably watch it on like CartoonNetwork.com or something. It's a cartoon. Thank you. That was a much better recommendation. You're welcome. <laughs> uh, my throat hurts. I'm very dry. Yeah, Alex, how dry of you. <gasps> oh, God. <gasps> yeah. Let's just turn this into guttural noises, the podcast. The guttural noises cast. I don't know. <laughs> um,. But yeah, I've actually recorded a bunch of uh, weekly update videos, and I just keep not posting them because I just keep, like, I don't know. Okay. Oh, sorry, you go. <laughs> Who? Gwen? I think Gwen's coughing or sneezing right now. Oh, okay. That, that was just <laughs> Boy. Pay I thought attention. she was saying something, and then she just stopped. Anyways, but um I died. Can you hear me again? Yeah, hi. My computer died. Oh, okay. <laughs> Where did I leave off? I had a rant going and then I realized it died. Uh you I heard you start to speak and then you just cut out. So I think we didn't even hear your rant. Oh, well that's probably for the better. <laughs> I said, this seems to be an ongoing theme for you guys. I die once an episode. That's all right. You're like you're like Kenny from South Park. Yeah. Yeah. 
basically. Except I'm better. Oh, give everybody. Um, was it last recording that uh the the, the baby cows were born? Oh my God! Yes. Updates. Updates. That... We have baby cows all over the place. There's two new baby cows since then. Oh my gosh! Yes. I saw pictures. Is one, on the, is one of them gonna be meat? Yeah, one of them's gonna be meat. The last Aww. one that was born. The one that was born during the last show's name is Nana. Nana? Oh my God! <laughs> Nana. Don't hurt my Nana. Yeah. Yeah, we call her banana. Hold up. I'm going to find it's one of those yet. pictures you sent. I'm going to yes. put it up on stream. <laughs> Baby cow on Magnolia Burst. This is crazy. Oh. But yes, we've got um, one, two, three, four. I think we've got six baby cows running around right now at various ages. It's crazy. Oh, my God. We're milking so many cows. We're milking five cows right now. That's crazy. It is. Image. Hold up. Um, All right, I'm going to pull it up right now. Cow. Yes. There's a cow. <laughs> hey, it's, it's got a little milk mustache. <laughs> yeah, this has got a little milk mustache. It's Nana. It's Nana. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, so we're not eating that one. <laughs> oh, did, he, uh, did you say that's a he or a she? She, we're not eating it. All right, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Danny, Yay. when you once you won the bet that it was going to be the other one was going to be a boy, I was like, yeah, the other one's going to be a burger. <laughs> ah, <Yeah>. damn. <laughs> yeah, generally. If it's a boy, it's going to be burger. I know how it works at Gwen's house. <laughs> yeah. Hashtag feminism. Hey, Coco. Oh, boy is... A boy is born, a, you kill it. <laughs> you don't want a bottle fed bull. Oh. They'll try and kill you. Oh. Yeah. The bull will? Just, yeah. yeah. Oh. When yeah, it gets older. Bottle feed. Yeah. Yeah. Bulls are mean. Cows aren't. Mostly. Well, some are. <laughs> well, that one, one picture Gwen sent of the of the of the cows just peeking in on uh, on the them windows. eating dinner. Oh my oh, god, yeah. those cracking me up. I don't think I saw one, that Danny? one. No. That was on Instagram. Oh, that's what it was, yeah. Oh! Yeah. Danny, go to Instagram and look at it. It's so funny. <laughs> Hold up, I'll it's just up like, gram. what are you guys eating? Who are you guys eating? <laughs> yeah, basically. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I had my phone pulled up on Disney Plus to Million Dollar Duck. <laughs> <laughs> what? Okay. A really <laughs> shitty fucking Disney movie, probably. I'm assuming. I didn't hear it. No, I didn't hear it. Hold up. Let's see. Gwen. Graham. Awesome. Right. Oh, oh, you're oh my at god. <laughs> Isn't that great? That's amazing. They're just peeking in the window. Hey. Yep. That's Wendy and Annie. Oh the my. The red god. one's Wendy. The gold one's Annie. That's you named your cow after my girlfriend. <laughs> Actually, we named it after the lady we bought her from. Oh, they're so cute! Oh my god! So they must be nice cows. <laughs> they're nice cows. Yeah. Yeah. Annie's the nicer of the two. Annie's a sweetheart. Wendy's a bit of a pip. Well, then you definitely didn't name that cow after my girlfriend. <laughs> no. <laughs> I want to go give a cow a big hug and then regret it because I'll probably smell like shit. <laughs> no, I really do, too. They smell like lanolin. Really? Yeah, I mean, unless they're sick or, or decide to lay in it. They smell like lanolin. They're just cowy smelling. Oh. A healthy a healthy cow should not stink. Oh, all right. I, I just well, think, I mean, I haven't been near cows much ever, just only on farms. <laughs> I've never been near a cow enough to be able to hug it. And that one time when I was in Ireland and there was like all those cows and they were so close to the fence, I was like, I could totally hug these cows. And then they were all staring at me. And then it's almost like they were calling their friends and there was like these cows up on the hill and they came out of nowhere and they were staring at me. I was like, okay, I'm going to get killed by a gang, a gang of angry Irish cows. And well. uh, so I didn't try anything. And then the other cows ran away from me. 
And then there was the time that there was a sign on the thing and it says, beware of bulls. And then this truck pulls up and opens up the back and just like 13 bulls walk out the back. And I was like, let's go. I want to leave now. <laughs> let's please leave. Yeah, bulls are scary. Uh, oh, man, it had, this one had the ring in its nose. We saw oh, one with a yeah. big fat ring. I was like, that's awesome. Why have the ring? What's the point of the ring? You tell me. That's how that some people can lead them around. Oh, oh. you put like a rope on it and... Yeah. Ow. <laughs> well, it's a bull. Yeah. Did they have their horns? Yeah, did they have their horns? Yeah. Yeah. They're scary with horns. Why don't you just <laughs> give them a dog collar? And then you can get them little dog tags. One with like a little milk pail on it. Aww. Yeah. We, um, <laughs> actually, for a while, we had one cow free roaming. And she had a, a collar with a bell on it. But she oh, kept trying to wander off. So that ended quickly. It was... Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> You know what I forgot, by the way? Aside from what? New York Comic Con, what else I did in October? What? I was walking. I was walking and I looked at my table. And Whoa, my giant... you got out of your house! <laughs> I went to Maui. Oh, that's I was in right. Hawaii. I was in Hawaii for a week. Seriously? How was that? That was awesome. Yeah, yeah Dana, I didn't yeah. tell you I went to Hawaii. I know you went to a place. I didn't know you went to Hawaii. That's pretty awesome. You went yeah, down I, I... to a baby shower, Danny? Oh, yeah. You went to Hawaii. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> the trade-off. Uh, you win, Danny. Your vacation wins. Oh, okay. <laughs> you went to a baby shower I know. in Florida. Yeah. Oh, That's like Florida. the double win. Uh... Yeah. Nothing, nothing says winning like Florida. Yeah. Yeah, you, your vacation must have stank being at fucking Hawaii and Maui and shit. Let me tell you something. So so there's this mountain called called uh, Haleakala, the, the, the house of the sun, right? So, so it's like 90-something degrees in Hawaii. And Annie's like, all right, we're waking up at 3 in the morning. We're going to start driving up this mountain and we're going to watch the sunrise off this mountain. It's supposed to be amazing. Dress warm. I'm like, all right, it's 90 degrees right now. I'll dress warm, meaning I'm wearing jeans and a hoodie. It was like 38 degrees up there and <laughs> windy and windy and wet. I was like, are you kidding me? So, we, so we're up there for, and it's pitch black, like blacker than black. And we're up there and... It's very cloudy, so it starts getting really bright and light out. And I'm like, oh, okay, I guess this is the sunrise. We didn't really, we didn't really see much, but you know, the sun's out, and it's nice to see the the mountains and the hills and the valleys. You know, you could see everything from here. And then some, all these people just start leaving because they're like, oh, I guess we we missed a good sunrise. They all start leaving, and then this guy starts like singing. He works for the park, and he starts singing in Hawaiian language. And so I'm like, oh, this is awesome. So I sit there and I'm watching him. And then all of a sudden he yells, behold. And then after he says, behold, that's when the sun pops out from behind a mountain. And it, <laughs> so all these people missed the actual sunrise. We stuck around. So we ended up seeing it because this guy started, you know, chanting. And it was amazing. I was shocked. The sun looked like you could touch it. It was so close. Wow. It I'm not was the amazing experience i'm not gonna lie i thought what you were building up to there was that the sun or the the light wasn't actually the sun it was like a volcano erupting or something oh yeah we all ran for our lives and then the guy went behold and the volcano erupted by <laughs> that would uh yeah that would have been amazing and then we'd be dead and I yeah they would be dead the story yeah like or a thunderstorm and then your rotting corpse would get cholera and then yes yes yeah. my col my cholera corpse yeah but um, but yeah, that was a that was a pretty intense experience. Nice. And then we, then we got caught in this giant cloud that we we're like, oh, I want to go over there and take a picture of this observatory that's on the uh, other hill. So we drive up and we're like, all right, let's take this picture. All of a sudden, in, engulfed in the cloud, we waited ten minutes. The cloud just kept going. I was like, all right, cool. I guess we'll just freaking leave. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, the, but it, it looked like you had fun from your photos. Yeah, it was a good time. 
It was a good time. It yeah. was very, ch- it was very chill because you know Annie likes to uh, run me ragged. We go to, we went to Scotland. We stayed in, in both Scotland and Ireland. We stayed at a different bed and breakfast every single night. Oh my god! Every I couldn't we, do that. We had to I drive I would, five hours at a time. It was insane. Wow! No, I couldn't do that. I'd have to have like two or three day break. Oh no! Not with Annie. So Hawaii, she promised me she would let me relax. Annie sounds like she's Dragon Con material. Annie would, if she was into uh, anything like that, she would be perfect for Dragon Con because she would go see everything and do everything. And tomorrow, San Diego Comic Con goes on sale, and oh, I have to make sure to get those tickets. Good because- luck. Well, listen, I'm going to try my best, and uh, um, if not, I'm going to ask maybe Sideshow people, because they probably can't, but I'm going to see if like there's a way they can get my name in there, and I, I could pay for it myself, because I will probably work with them at that con, too. Nice. So, yeah, yeah I'm leaving next week for Designer Con, and uh, it's in Anaheim, and I'm actually on that Thursday going for a, an HQ tour. Oh, wow. sideshow. Yeah. We knew you before you were famous. Yeah. yeah be- famous. Yeah, I knew Alex before he was a sellout. <laughs> hey, if you guys are on Facebook, you should be joining the Designer Toy Collective because yeah. I'll be going live in there very often from Designer Con and you could watch my stupid ass talking live. Damn. Oh. Bro, we can watch his stupid ass talking live. <laughs> yeah, you can watch my stupid ass. Talk about stupid stuff, stupid live. With his stupid big beard and his stupid beard comb that he's going to be beard combing right into the fucking live stream. And... God damn right. <laughs> I have my brand new beard shampoo and beard oil and beard, what is this? Beard jizz. <laughs> <laughs> I got all this beard shit going on right now. Oh. So... Hey, you should do a, a review from, what is it? Black Phoenix Alchemy. Oh, those things, yeah. Yeah, they did a lot of Hellboy beard stuff. You should do that. Uh, I was actually looking into buying the Hellboy. They only did one beard oil. The rest of them are like perfume oils. I I don't need perfume oils. But I I will totally get the beard oil. I will do a review. I'll be like, oh, this is my new bottle of beard shit. Jizz. (laughs) Well, your hot sauce, yeah. (laughs) Don't put it on pancakes. Oh my god, that was a mistake. That was a big mistake. I'm glad everyone enjoyed it, but it was brutal. I'm it was so not sorry. okay, dude. That video is still getting views like every day. Oh good. Yeah. <laughs> You're famous. Good. My pain is famous. Yeah. That was Who that does was that? that was the most pain. I'm sorry while I'm feeding my cat while while you guys are on the phone with me, but. She's she's circling around me while I'm talking to you, so I have to do it. But she's uh, a. But here you go. She's like a shark right now, just going back and forth like jaws. Here you go, yeah, yeah fatso. Yeah. <laughs> I don't get people who enjoy stuff that hot. You know, it's like there's a difference between spicy and all the er. No, I can't. Yeah, I don't get it either. It's 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 pointless at that point i mean you know what i actually did try what they always recommend which is one drop for oh my god power, for by for like eight servings or something so some of them were like one drop for 20 servings so i made a big thing of mexican food that i was gonna you know have throughout the week and i just put one drop in and it still kicked my ass wow no 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 I'm, i'll pass on that one yeah, it was brutal. I still have them in the fridge, though. <laughs> if I have people over, I'll, I'll torture them with it. Yeah. Okay, here you go. Have the good stuff. Yeah, or if a burglar comes in, I'll just pour it in his eyes. <laughs> oh, that's kind of mean. That is mean. Yeah. No, no. I've de- I, I'll... That's on that one. Go ahead, Danny. I, I've definitely talked about how I can hardly handle like any pepper hot stuff (laughs) um but uh yeah 
I, I, I definitely can't see the need for that, let alone any sort of hot stuff. But you know, I'm I'm weird like that. <laughs> yeah, I like spicy. I don't really care for that super super hot. We're all wimps here. I'm sorry, people. You'll have to accept it. <laughs> yeah, you, yeah, we're nerds. Yeah, definitely not connoisseurs of super hot. No, I can't. Anyway. Well, um, what books see. do we have coming out now? We have... I was going to ask that. We have Witchfinder starting up um, next month. And then... Okay. Is that it? Oh, and then we also have the uh, um, Crooked Man sequel. That's very exciting for me. Yeah, I don't... Yeah, it's, it's still kind of quiet. Yeah. Winter, winter special too, right? Oh yeah, the winter specials we have coming out too. That's right. We have two winter specials actually. We have titles on those yet? Yeah, we have. Well, we just have Hellboy Winter Special 2019, and then we also have, um, uh, what's it called? It's Hellboy in the BPRD, the one with uh, Adam Hughes. Adam Hughes just does one every year now. Um. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Hold up a second. Let me look it up. Yes. I'm not pulling up the name. B P R D. But this has really been the year of Hellboy in the BPRD. It's been very strange. Wait, Seven Wives Club? Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Seven Wives Club. So it's been quite a Kai. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. Kind of a quiet few months again. Yeah, I, I don't. I don't know if it's me or you, but you're cutting out. I I think it's me. Sorry. You're good now. My internet sucks, guys. <laughs> uh, I think it's just because. Well, we had such a busy year with the Hellboy movie coming out that I think they went all in, and now they're kind of like just relaxing after it. You know, they, yeah. there's no reason to go crazy. Yeah, probably. But so I I hope we get some new titles soon. Oh yeah, I'm sure we will. Like I definitely think uh nineteen fifty seven is gonna come out next year. Um Yeah, I need them to get back to that because there's so much of the gap that needs to be closed and there's so much story I want them to follow up on. Like I need to know what's going on with Zhang. Yeah, I'd... like She's such a great character that they introduced. Chris Robertson's and just kind of like been taking a. He hasn't really done much this year, has he? No, that's why. Like, I want to see that happening. Hmm. Well, um, yeah. I, is there anything else you guys want to toss in? Like, uh, do you guys have yeah. any plugs you want to throw up? Oh, Gwen, you asked me to. What was it you asked me to do? Uh, oh, I posted the link in Hellboy Universe. I said you could do that. <laughs> but I went ahead and did it when we got started. Oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> All right. Um, uh, Alex, you want to plug in your, like, shy, 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 shy show? Shy show? <laughs> my shy, my shy show? Uh, yes, yeah. there is Let Your Geek Side Show Facebook group, and I'm mostly focusing on the Designer Toy Collective, which is Sideshow's Unruly Industries Designer Toys. And if you are going to Designer Con, I will be there. If anyone nice. listening is going to Designer Con, I will be there. I will be at the Sideshow booth. And I'll be going live a lot in Designer Con. So you can see and hear my stupid voice and see my stupid face. And your stupid Aww. beard and your stupid, stupid eyes. Stupid Stupid eyes and the nose and face. Stupid Alex. Stupid. Yes. Yeah. Um, I'll say if any of you guys cosplayed anything Hellboy related this year, come on over to Hellboy Universe and post a picture. Didn't see a lot of activity this year. I'd really like to see some. You know, it doesn't have to be Hellboy. It could be Abe or, or what's the Were Panther guy's name again? Daimyo. Daimyo, yes, Ben, um, or Liz, or any of the side characters. I don't care. If you did one, 
post it on the group. I'd love to see it. Same. Uh, yeah. Hellboy Universe. Danny? Um uh listen to our other podcasts or my 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 other one uh multiverse in the bag of potato chips rpg podcast thing uh we play rpgs i do one every week or well, every month rather because it's whatever just listen to it <laughs> um do it do it i also have another podcast that is a uh an experimental thing that might be going up soon we haven't uploaded it yet um <laughs> but uh yeah I, i'll talk about that next time if because i don't even know if we're gonna actually do it or not <laughs> okay yeah being and hopefully oh go ahead i was i was just i was being cryptic i was trying to build up the suspense for something extremely stupid well that's okay anyone who listens to us knows what they're getting in <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> And hopefully we'll announce sometime um, a, the special thing with the, what is it called again? Our Encounters with Evil. Yes, yeah. We'll, we'll yes. try to do a read-through of that. Yeah. All right. Alex, are you going to sign off? Ah, does Redania to all and to all a good night. <laughs> wow! <laughs> Yippee! Uh, Wahoo! It's a me. You need to do more voices, Danny. Charles Martinet was at Rhode Island Comic Con. I didn't get to see him. Hey, Danny, you need to do more of your little voices. You do really good little voices in the background. Uh, do I? Do I do any yeah. the good voices? <laughs> yeah. Alex is probably giving me disapproving looks through the phone. I'm oh, is just... Alex giving me a disapproval for my voices? I, I just opened my window and I just realized it's not a big enough jump for me to, to die from listening to Danny, so I need to go to the fourth floor to do it. <laughs> oh, okay, well... I... He's a make of the Italian voices. He's a make of the Mario. That's not... I'm not making an Italian voice and making a Mario voice. They're different. I'm going to stop okay. screaming now. Bye.